Hi, I'm Robert Ardill and I'm a painter and a photographer. In this series of videos I will explain the basics of digital watercolour painting with Photoshop using the tools and techniques that I have developed. I've always particularly loved watercolours as this is a very beautiful medium capable of a huge breadth of expression from very subtle and delicate to strong and vivid. I've started to look at using digital tools to simulate watercolour painting more recently, largely because of my use of Photoshop for photography. I initially tried Corel Painter and spent a lot of time on it, but found that I was not able to replicate traditional watercolours well with it. So I went back to Photoshop and I found that Photoshop's a great tool with which to paint watercolours digitally with the right brushes and techniques, of course. As a test, I printed some watercolours that I produced using Photoshop, and other watercolour painters I showed them to had no idea they were done digitally. As an example, here is an impressionistic um, image of a sunrise over some mountains near my house. And here is a painting of a small harbour to the south of where we live. And this is an image of the Boyne at sunset, again close to my house. And here is a detail of the same painting at print size. As you can see, they are totally different. And yet, they could all have been produced by pen and paint on paper. To get the tools that you will need to paint watercolours using Photoshop, go to this link here, paintingdigitally.com. To install the tools, either go to the YouTube installation video or follow the installation instructions in the PDF that you will find in the download file. If you're using Photoshop CX6, once you've installed the Magic Picker, if you decide to use this third-party plugin of course, imported your workspace in your presets and actions, your workspace should look like this. On the right hand side we have the layers panel, below that the magic picker, below that the Windsor Newton color swatch. Next to that are the panels and the main ones you will need are the actions, the styles, the tool presets and the brush settings. The tool presets can also be accessed at the top left corner here. Let's now create a new document. For now I'll just use a 16 by 12 inch preset. We now need to run the action Make Watercolour Paper. We can now pick a brush and a colour and we can start to paint. In the next videos I will describe the brushes tools and actions that you will need in some detail. But if you're not sure if this is for you, then I suggest you watch a couple of the demonstration videos which are part of this series first. Thank you for watching.